name's Beowulf Borat, and I'm the scenic designer for Grace, playing on Broadway at the Court Theater right now. And I started doing plays in junior high and high school, I think like everybody who's in the theater probably. Um, and, uh, and I liked it, it's an easy thing to like when you're in high school. Um, and uh, I did summer stock in my hometown in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania uh, when I was a junior in high school. And I think that was the first time I realized that set design was a thing. I had drawn and been sort of you know, interested in visual art my whole life. And that was the moment I kind of realized I could put that and theater together um, and do something with it. I had a bunch of lucky breaks, really. I, I was talking to some students yesterday and just kind of emphasizing that, that I think you know, hard work and talent and all that stuff is great, but there's an awful lot of people who can do all of those things. Um, and you just have to get lucky, uh, which you can't control. They used to do uh, what they called Ming's Clam Bake at uh, Lincoln Center, and I met Hal Prince at that, uh, and he liked my work enough to send me a note, which is on the wall over there, uh, you know, saying something nice and encouraging. Every year after that, I would just drop him a letter, I'd send him postcards about what I was doing, and occasionally he would respond. And, uh, you know, quite a few years down the road, I got a call from his daughter asking me to do the last five years. He'd recommended me to her. And that was, I think, really, truly the big career break for me. There is no good excuse for my name. Um, it is my honest-to-God given name. Uh, it's on my birth certificate. Uh, my father is Hungarian. Uh, he came here when he was a teenager. And I like to joke that he didn't have a good grasp of American names. Um, but the, the honest truth is there's, there's no reason for it. I don't think I even read Beowulf until I was a teenager. Um, but, uh, you know, it does, it's a, it's a name that people remember and that's not, not a bad thing in this business and I think it's been helpful. So the, the idea for the set in Grace, um, the, the genesis of it comes from Dexter Buller, the director, and they had done it with the idea of a rotating stage. Um, so when I got hired for the show, that was, uh, that was always in the mix. The start of the idea was that in the play, most of it sort of progresses normally with time moving forward, but there's two sequences where time goes backwards. And the play is very much talking about how you can't, uh, you can't turn back time. Uh, although there's two moments where we do that in the play, the point is that, in fact, you go back in time and nothing changes. So what we started with, and I think the set has sort of progressed beyond this, but the original idea was just a way of sort of clocking which way time goes, that the set, the turntable revolves clockwise when time's moving forward and counterclockwise when time's moving backwards. The doors sort of track back and forth through the course of the show uh, to different places. They go from, this is sort of one extreme that they come around like this, and then they'll slowly move around to there. It kind of creates that world where you're slightly disoriented because you're facing a, an experience that you haven't dealt with before, and I think that's very much what the characters are dealing with. The furniture and the props in the play, uh, because we were doing this revolving turntable, we had the, the immediate technical challenge that everything had to be sort of low and open, um, because anything that I put upstage was going to end up downstage in the course of 20 minutes, and vice versa. Because the structure of the show, and this is inherently in the play, is that it's two condominiums that are uh, apartments that are next door to each other and meant to be identical furniture, the way a hotel room or a business condo is. Um, and the action takes place in both concurrently. So you have to sort of buy that the couch is two different couches uh, in two different people's apartments. And that meant that it all had to stay pretty bland and pretty generic. And normally as a set designer, I go in and try to dress things up and make them feel kind of unique. And the challenge here was what can we put in that actually won't do that, that gives you the location, but doesn't begin to identify it as one apartment or the other. This is the whole uh, backdrop laid out, uh, the painter's elevation that they painted the sky from. And these are a couple shots where I, I sort of laid out a timeline page by page going through the script. Um, showing where what the sky would be doing at different points in the progression. Uh, and this began to really sort of sum up the ideas of the show for us, this sort of progression of space over time. There's a series of things the set has to do for you to understand the play. And my sense is that people tend to get it. You know, the, the staging makes it quite clear, maybe five, ten minutes into the play, what's going on. And I think people get it. There probably are some people who won't. but. Um, you know, you need to know that it's Florida. There's like basic things that, that it's the job of the set to tell you that I hope this does. But more than that, I hope it, I hope all of the sort of mechanical tricks we're doing actually add up to a sort of exciting experience for the audience. Mm -hmm.